Baptiste Duviard at the fly half position. So, an under, understudy, but uh, we'll see how it goes in the second half. Big tall, wearing number five, Nanyak Dalla. Little knock on, it was, yes. Yeah, unfortunate, there was a great leap in the air in order to win their own kickoff, and it's it's often such a bonus when they do get up there and they do win that kickoff. It gives them the momentum, but unfortunately, it's like knock on on the floor to stop that. I think France would beat you at fly half at the moment. Ben, you know, someone to organise it, as you used to do. Well, uh, and and uh, take all the conversions as well. It's key in sevens to have a couple of players that stay on the field a lot, you know, and Boudouard's lost his, lost his teammate. Yes, exactly. Canada with that uh, just try and conversion lead. Blue knock on. Knock on again, little errors. And France need possession. So Canada not it's hurrying. Not. Again, Sean Duke. A bright laddie as well. He's a master degree in kinesiology. But the ball is back into the hands of the French. Vincent Danio. Danio sets it up. Real chance here. Well, a bit slow though. Too slow. Canada get into their defensive places. Burahua. <laughs> Goes round in circles. Here he goes. Look at that. Skips over. That's his skill. So elusive. What? Well, I don't think he knew where he was going, let alone the opposition or his teammates. Then. <laughs> yes, I don't think he did. And decided to jump over someone in the end. But there you go. Started to make me dizzy up here. But Look I mean, that. phenomenal footwork and strength to get out of the tackle. And this is like a little pocket rocket. He just keeps going. Round and round. Pirouettes and uh, elusive, wonderful. Good try, and will he get the out? Yeah, adds the two points. It's level at 14. 14. He was dropped for a couple of years, you know, I mean, he, when he first came in, because he was much too selfish. But then, I mean, sometimes you need to be an individualist, don't you, like this? I mean, not many would try individually like that, would they? No, I think he was learning the game and also having the right players around him in order to control that. Now he's he's probably got more freedom. He's got the other players backing him up. Yes. So conversion was missed. It's 14-12 by mistake. So still Canada just a little bit edge. No, they've corrected it again. It is 14. I thought it went over. Goodness sake. <laughs> well. Nanyak Dala, oh, a little careless knock on there by Sean Duke. Both teams just getting too flat in defence, I mean, sorry, in attack at the moment, and not really having that injection of pace or power onto the ball at the crucial times. There he is, look. Third highest try scorer in this season. Dan Norton still at top. 14 all, three and a half. Less than that now. The last one is good. Straight in the middle after the set. The winners here will play in the bowl final against Wales. Set. Barahua. This time it's Zambelli. Barry. Zambelli. Oh, well played. They won't catch Candelon. He can fly. He's a great player. This guy is Julian Candelo. If he gets a bit of room, he's so quick. Acceleration. A man who played, what, seven years ago. First time for France in the sevens. 32-year-old, but he's still quick, isn't he? Absolutely, and it was much better movement from France there. Sucking defenders in, 
and then coming back around and creating the space and then good linking at the end there. And it's all important, you've got to have that support player in order to beat the sweeper and Candelon was on hand for that one. Important conversion, successful again and so a clear seven points lead with just two minutes to go. Good timings of ball, good angle, good support from Julien Candelon. Will that go the 10 metres? Yes, it will. Good ball back from Logel into the hands of Lacafia. Relatively new experience, Lacafia. Dropped inside into Zambelli. Here he is again, Burahua. Logel, good, good pace and good push off. Jonathan Logel, a 20 year old who's come through and settled now the outcome of this one in the bowl semi final. Yeah, Key France winning their kick off on the money from Burua and then they've just held on to the ball well. I thought for a second Burua had the opportunity maybe to spread that ball wide further on the right, but he's come back and he's, he's found the space. And uh, France showing a bit more confident now towards the end of this game. Well, they can be absolutely brilliant sometimes. It must be frustrating for the coach, Freddy Pomerel. When one goes back to Port Elizabeth when they got into the final there. And they've been fourth in Tokyo and fourth in Dubai. And yet, you know, in Hong Kong, they win the Shield final. I mean, extraordinary, really. But it's happened very with everyone. As you were saying, we were chatting earlier about before uh, this game. You know, only New Zealand have been continue, in, you know, with with a game after game consistency. Yeah, they have. You know, certain teams at the moment they go up and down, and sevens is an incredibly psychological game. You, you've got to be on the money every time you put your jersey on and run out for your country. And you know, there are a lot of sides at the moment that do go up and down. New Zealand have certainly set that out. They've shown us how, what what you need to do to win tournaments and win series. Well. Good second half for France there and comfortably winning in the end by 28 points to 14 and they will be